Life with a chronic disease like relapsing multiple sclerosis because it can really present some unique challenges, especially when it comes to doing some of the things that you really love. Chef Ben Ford has a personal connection to the disease and Courtney Roman is a nurse practitioner, uh, practitioner who works with MS patients. Welcome Chef Ben and Courtney, good to see both of you this morning. Thank Great you. to be here. Good morning. Yeah, Courtney, let's start with you. What, what is relapsing MS? Relapsing MS is a neurologic condition that impacts the brain, spinal cord, and optic nerves. There's damage that occurs to these nerves that causes interruption in communication with several areas of the body. Symptoms include numbness, tingling, dexterity problems, weakness, visual disturbance, mm -hmm. and it usually occurs in relapsing forms. So they'll have normal neurologic function, then a flare up of neurologic dysfunction, mm. and they may return back to normal function after that or have residual neurologic function. Yeah. Dysfunction, no, excuse sure. me, uh, it's 2.3 million people. Yeah, I was gonna say, who does it affect? And I guess, I guess, what are some of the other symptoms? 2.3 million people in the world are affected by it. Usually it affects women more than men, uh, but certainly uh, at varying, um, varying severity for uh, individuals. Everybody's symptoms are a little bit different. Yeah, Chef Ben, your mother has been dealing with this, I guess, really since you were a teenager, right? Can you share your story? Yeah, I mean, I think Corey referred to it though. I mean, the, the symptoms are very different. So my, my mother, when she was, um, when, when I was growing up with, in the household, she was being diagnosed with it, but she hadn't been, or she had, she was systematic, but she hadn't been diagnosed yet. It was a much harder di diagnosis at that time. And she's been living with it for uh, 40 years now. Mm -hmm. So it's been quite some time. Um, but, uh, you know, growing up there and watching her uh, take on symptoms, but she also really, really loved to entertain. And, and our household was one of those, those, those places where all the kids would come over, stay a couple of days. Parents would join them on weekends, I guess. They missed their <laughs> kids. Uh, but it, was, uh, it was just was one of those households. And so sort of getting her to reimagine her life as an entertainer and extending that was, uh, was something that I watched her personally go through. And it's something that I'm bringing to the Reimagine Myself um, campaign as well. And, uh, it's just, uh, it's, it's, it's a fluid situation. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm always learning. We're always, myself along with other experts are bringing a lot of different information to this website and it's, it's, a, it's a great website to stay close to. Yeah, but Ben, I imagine there's a lot of people out there just like your mom, many people with relapsing MS. I mean, they enjoy cooking and entertaining. And I guess really, especially during these summer months, can you share some advice and, and tips for other people that may be out there experiencing a lot of these same symptoms? Yes, and you know, I think that the the hardest symptoms to work with for, for at least for many people with MS is is the the heat issues during the summertime. So, um, getting out there and grilling might seem contrary to that, but you know, shade and, and other cooling cooling elements, things like uh, cooling hats and, and neckties and things like that are are great things mm -hmm. to come out there with. But the reason why I like outdoor grilling and why I pointed that out on the uh, region my, re, on the uh, reimaginemyself.com website is because. Um, it's a great communal thing. I mean, it's, it's, it's a time for people to come together in the backyard. It's uh, the excuses there to have everyone sort of contribute to the grill. Um, and, you know, another tip that I have really that I think is important, and it also involves engaging those around you, is, is planning um, mm -hmm. and stepping out things, doing recipes that really have um, strong progressions to them, meaning that you can do segments of the recipe over a period of time maybe even over the period of a week. Yeah. And it really cuts down to the, the workload when it comes down to the day of, of, the, of the event. And uh, so these, these are, it's really about engagement and it's about planning. Yeah, and then the, all the, this Reimagine Myself, it's a whole campaign. Uh, and you're, you've got a big part of this uh, and, and our viewers can really go to that website. Where do you direct them for more information? So it's reimaginemyself.com, and it's myself and other experts that are also contributing. So you'll find good grilling tips and summer tips, but you'll also find a lot of info, uh, useful information on there, and it's ever-changing, so it's a great website to stay close to. Yeah, Ben, thanks for your time. Send our best to your mom. And Courtney, thanks for your time as well. Thank you. Thank you very much. You bet.